Hello everyone for another Underworlds battle report and it's my Frosty Soul Raid. Uh Still one of the, uh, well, training games before going to a tournament in Holland and, uh, well, as I will be uh, using Elephane in the tournament in Ekren as well. Uh, well. I know how to pilot him but uh, getting back into him, uh, it's a bit of a, a thingy. So I faced uh, Peter, uh, it's not the same guy from uh, last time with uh, the rats, uh, this, uh, we have two Peters in our group. And he brought along Hitcrack as Mad Mob with Breakneck Slaughter, so that means some furious Autoc aggro coming my way. Now considering I have recently been toying with this combination as an idea as well, I had a vague idea of what to expect as both warbands deployed. Fjordan advanced into the cover hex only to be wounded and pushed back by Wallop the Skull. In the meantime, Duneclaw, who really had a blast again in this game, just like in the previous one, took down Toothdagger, who had already been wounded by Tamil's harpoon. Daco Sharp Sticker advanced, overcoming the forgotten nightmares in play and taking out Fjordan with a well placed arrow to her chest. Both warbands now huddled around No Man's Land, and the score was 3 to 5 in favor of the Mad Mob. But I was not discussing, uh, I knew what I had in hand. What would be coming in the next round, uh, because we drew new objective cards and uh, yeah, I was pretty confident. In the second turn, with the sword inspired Elephant charged the big axe wielder and dispatched him with ease. Headcracker attacked, I also got extra glory due to my allure light being equipped. Sliding away through afterwards with his momentum counters as he had missed his attack to boot as Duncla defended with a critical. Another charge came in from the Crazed Shaman, uh, the first attack he was just in range. Dunkla again saving his carapace and the Shaman slid onwards into a lethal hex, wounded by Frozen to the spot as well. This allowed for a charging Tamil to harpoon the enemy leader down and give me the primacy token. This left Daco now surrounded by the Soul Raid as the sole surviving Oruk. And at that moment the score was 8-5 to five for Elephane. And Peter yielded the match, making it a 15-0 victory for the IDNF Deepkin in what was an avalanche that started to roll out. I would have scored at least, including the Primacy token, 5 more points in the end phase with Chill of the Grave in hand, Tides of Death and Unseen Menace. And would have sealed the deal anyways in favor of Elephane at the end of the second round. So a good night. And then, uh, well, I was a bit... Uh, Disappointed uh, about the Auric aggro, uh, seeing if I could counter real aggressive play, but uh, with two defensive dice rolls of Dune Claw basically uh, decided otherwise. Thanks for uh, watching, I hope you liked it, uh, you know the drill, <laughs> well, it's no obligation. And I'll see you again for uh, a next battle report soon. Bye bye and take care.